Hi guys, Saga here. Today we're going to be reviewing the Golden Bruce Lee Funko Pop. So let's get started. Bruce Lee lived a short but impactful life. He popularised Kung Fu around the world. This is the pop I'm going to be reviewing. Before we do so, I'm going to give you a quick overview of his life. Growing up, Bruce got into a lot of fights with local gangs. After losing a lot of them, his parents got him enrolled in martial arts training. After defeating the son of a gang member, Bruce's dad sent him to America to flee for his life. He studied drama, philosophy and psychology in the University of Washington. After that, he opened a martial arts school and taught Kung Fu to anyone regardless of their race. This made traditional martial arts schools angry as they didn't want Bruce teaching American students. But he didn't take any notice of them, he carried on. Bruce became notorious for his unstoppable punch and his one inch punch. His physical ability landed him the part of Kanto and Green Hornet. He also appeared in two episodes of Batman in 1967, A Piece of Action and Batman Satisfaction. Unfortunately, Green Hornet was cancelled after one season. Struggling to find work after this, Bruce Lee returned to Hong Kong where the Green Hornet was a massive success. He signed a contract to star in two new movies, The Big Boss and The Fist of Fury. Both movies were massive blockbusters. Enter the Dragon was released in the United States by Hollywood studio Warner Brothers in 1973. However, a few days before his movie premiered, he died after taking painkillers for a headache he had. His sudden death led to rumours about it. One theory said that he was assassinated by Chinese gangsters there to take revenge on him, while another said he was a victim of a curse. The family curse theory resurfaced when Lee's 28-year-old son, Brandon, who had followed in his father's footsteps to become an actor, died in an accidental shooting on the set of the movie, The Crow, in 1993. The young Lee was buried next to his father in Seattle Lake in America. Enter the Dragon was his biggest box office hit, eventually grossing $200 million. After that, Bruce Lee became a movie icon around the world. In this pop, is very nostalgic for me. I remember seeing it and I wanted to buy my dad it as it was his birthday and I was like, hmm, this looks very good. So I bought it. Usually I don't really like Golden Pops, but I had to make an exception for this one as me and my dad are massive Bruce Lee fans. On the side, you can see the classic dojo wall. There's an amazing uh, uh, black dragon pattern, which is lovely. I also really want to get the Flying Kick Bruce Lee but I haven't found any on eBay or Amazon which are for a good deal so I might get one in the future, it all depends. Also, I didn't know this until recently, this is actually his um, signature that he has. So not only his, his signature but also his kind of logo. I love how at the top he's just glowing like he's like, I'm here the Kung Fu Master, fear me. I love his pose, he's like, why, yeah, 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 why, kind of sounds like a screaming cat. He's wearing his famous yellow tracksuit, which is now gold. This would usually have a black stripe coming across, which has been taken by many pop culture icons like Kill Bill. I love his hair as well. That's amazing. Kind of like my lockdown hair. <laughs> I really wish Funko had not painted the eyebrows and had actually sculpted them. He has a lovely nunchucks there, it's very detailed. It's awesome how the chain is getting the two pieces of wood together. It's like it's almost realistic, like a proper like action figure. The creases on the back and the front, they're amazing as well. Like he's been running for a long time and it's getting really creased up. I'm not sure why Funko have done this, but the eyes are a little bit smaller than a normal pop. Maybe just to give the effect of it's glowing and it will stand out more than a usual pop figure. I like his trainers that he's wearing. They kind of look like Puma. I know they're not. Comment down below if you do know. I'd love to hear your answers. His head does articulate from side to side, not all of the way round. Maybe because um, if you could do it all the way around, his hand will touch his head, which will break the pop. Oops. But then again, you might want to pose it like that, so you can be like... Whew. I really, really, really 
really, really want Funko to make a movie moment when Chuck Norris and Bruce Lee are fighting because that scene was amazing when they're just trying to like get each other to the ground and like it was so iconic I would get that so you could like style all the pops in there I love how the only spectators like a little cute cat just sitting on the wall like what are these two grown men doing and why am I watching I hope you liked my Golden Bruce Lee Funko Pop review and you have three things to do, like the video, subscribe and stay safe. Goodbye.